Hello, second graders. This is our second part of our reading lesson. The first part this morning was our new vocabulary words that we're going to see in our shared reading story called Starry Night. This lesson is on the big idea along with our shared reading story. Now, I want to apologize. Yesterday, when I introduced the big idea, I accidentally did the wrong one. What they did in our book and online is they mixed the stories around. They updated the curriculum, which meant they mixed things around, which kind of confused Miss Murphy. So I apologize. It's okay. We'll still use that big idea coming up, but I will quickly introduce the big idea for this week, which is what can we see in the sky? And we're going to listen to this little section called Up in the Sky. In the sky. When you are outside, what do you see in the sky? The sky in clouds, the moon, a rainbow. Talk about it. Talk with a partner about what you see in the daytime and nighttime skies. List these features on the chart. Chart. Daytime sky. Nighttime sky. So right now I just daytime want... sky. Sunlight. Nighttime sky, moonlight. I just want you to think, what are some things that you see in the sky during the daytime? For example, you can see the sun, you can see the clouds, you can see fog. This morning when I was riding slow, I saw fog. You can see in the sky snow, rain. Now, in the nighttime sky, you probably don't see as much. You probably see the moonlight and you probably see some stars. Sometimes you might see some clouds, but what else could you see in the nighttime sky and in the daytime sky? Okay, now we're gonna go on to our shared reading story. So if you need to pause the video and get your Wonders book, please do. And open up your Wonders book to page 244. Now, normally you would think it'd be the second story in our book, but they have moved things around. So we're gonna do page 244 and it should look like this and it is called Starry Night. Genre, fiction, Starry Night. Our inquiry question is how can characters in the story grow and change? So throughout the story, I want you to be looking for how, the, how are these characters growing and changing? We're gonna start over here on page 245, and I want you to think or track and follow along as the story reads it to you. And we're gonna start with Josie and Ling. Josie and Ling were good friends. Ling was happy Josie was her neighbor. Josie was happy Ling lived nearby too. Josie and Ling couldn't wait for the school day to end. They planned a sleepover at Josie's house. They were going to sleep in a tent in Josie's backyard. As the class was leaving, Mr. Cortez said, your weekend homework is to look at the nighttime sky and explain what you saw on Monday. The class grumbled. Why the unhappy sounds? Mr. Cortez asked. It will be fun looking at the sky at night. Okay, so our two main characters we know are Josie and Ling, and they're good friends. They're also neighbors. And they are in class with Mr. Cortez, and he gave him, them some week, weekend homework. And their weekend homework was to look at the nighttime sky and explain what you saw on Monday. Now the class grumbled. Why did they grumble? It sounds like kind of fun and interesting homework. It's better than doing a worksheet. But they kind of grumbled, and they thought, or Mr. Cortez, Cortez thought, it's kind of fun looking at the sky at night. That kind of should be some fun homework. All right, turn your page to 246 and put your finger on the girls, and we'll start here. Girls arrived at Josie's house and were delighted to be sleeping outdoors. Josie said, I'm so happy that we get to sleep in the tent. It will be lots of fun. Then Ling said, I'll get the sleeping bags and flashlights. I brought flashlights so we could play games in the tent. Josie's dad poked his head inside the tent. Girls, it is a good time to do your homework now because it is getting dark, he said. Aw, they both complained. Dad, said 
said Josie. Do we have to now? Yes, I already set up the telescope. Okay, on page 246, you can see that the girls are arriving and it looks like they're getting all set up. They got their tent, they got their sleepy bags, their flashlight, and they're ready to play some games in the dark. That sounds like fun, like night games. And then dad says, oh, we need to be ready to do your homework. And he brought the telescope and you can see up here, he brought the telescope. So he's ready for the girls to look in the nighttime sky to see what they can see. Put your finger on Ling on page 247 and we're gonna and follow along and we're gonna start on this page now. Ling said, I hope this won't take too long. Josie looked up and spotted a crescent moon. Did you know the moon's light comes from the sun? said Josie. It's funny that it's called moonlight. Yes, said Ling, who was still thinking about playing in the tent. Josie's dad smiled at the girls and said, see the stars in the sky? Those points of bright light can form shapes. You can see the Big Dipper, he said. It's a group of stars that look like a giant spoon in the sky, the Big Dipper. dad smiles at the girls and says see look at the stars look how bright they are and look how their lights can form different shapes and these shapes we're going to learn in science are called constellations so they can form different constellations different shapes and this one looks like a spoon a big spoon they call it a dipper and so right now the girls are learning this is their homework they're learning a little bit about science and constellations and how they can look for different items or things in the nighttime sky. Turn your page to 248 and put your finger at the top where it says Josie's dad. Josie's dad showed her how to look through the telescope. Wow, that's more stars than I ever dreamed of. I never imagined there could be so many. It was Ling's turn to look. Ling cried out, I see a bright light moving in the sky. That's a shooting star, said Josie's dad. This is fun, said Ling. I really enjoy looking at the stars. Okay, so Josie's dad showed them how to look through a telescope. And so when you look through a telescope, it makes the objects out in the sky look closer. They appear closer. And so they could, could imagine how many stars are out there. They could never have dreamed of that, he said. And then they saw a shooting star. So that's something that you can see in the nighttime sky that you can't see during the daytime. The girls at the end of this page said that they've really loved looking at the stars and they're really enjoying it. So their homework assignment, which they all grumbled about, they're starting to enjoy it and find out that this is really fun learning. On page 249 at the top with the I think, I think we've seen enough of the nighttime sky, said Josie's dad. You girls can go play now. Aw, dad, can't we keep looking? Asked Josie. This is really fun. Yes, said Ling. We have had an adventure already and we haven't even played in the tent yet. You're right, Ling, said Josie. This has been one exciting night. So on this page, they said they had an adventure. So that was one of our vocabulary words this morning. And we learned that adventure is something exciting that you get to do. And we kind of thought of adventure as like hiking, but in this case, their adventure was looking through the telescope at the bright stars and seeing the constellations and the shooting stars. And dad said, okay, you guys can go back to playing or playing. And they're like, no, they're enjoying it now. They're enjoying it, can we keep looking? So as you can see, the characters throughout the story have changed. At the beginning, Josie and Ling, weren't excited about their homework assignment, but as they did their homework assignment and were able to explore and look at the stars and look through a telescope, they were able to find out that their homework and learning about science can be fun and enjoyable. Now I want you to make the connection. Make connections. What did you learn about the nighttime sky after reading the story? Compare. Okay, so I just want to do that first one. So I want.
want you to think, what did you learn about the nighttime sky that you did not know already about it? So for example, one new thing might be the constellations. Maybe you didn't know about the constellations, or maybe you didn't know about the shooting stars, or how to use the telescope, or that a telescope could help you look at the nighttime sky. So I want you to think, what were some things that you learned in this shared reading story about the nighttime sky? All right, that, this concludes our shared reading story today on the starry night.